Good afternoon, Poké Sports, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 12 video. Uh, bringing you a, an Amistar. <laughs> I'm reluctant to say that Amistar is going to be the Pokemon of today's video, but there's a, there's an idea here. There's an idea somewhere somewhere here. This team was posted in the Poké Sports Discord by Aquamoth, um, and it's pretty much. A double kick into weak armor weakness policy Amistar. So essentially what we'll end up having is plus two special attack, plus two attack, negative two defense, but plus four speed by the end of it. So uh, that, that sounds fun. <laughs> that sounds like something interesting. Um, the one with the double kick is going to be the Calyrex Shadow. So of course, we're not going to take too much damage to the double kick. Of course, it also looks like there's a lot of um, speed control mons in the form of Quash Sableye with Trick Lagging Tail. Worst case scenario, I guess, if you're going up in uh, against the Trick Room team, you can always undo the Trick Room with Calyrex Shadow and use the Trick to swap Lagging Tail onto yourself. Um, there's also, you know, Nuzzle with the Raichu. There's a Jack Button with the Raichu, just so you can kind of get in, get out real quickly and switch into the Pokemon that you want to switch into. There's a Zacian here to clean up whatever Amistar can't. <laughs> And also we have the Serena with Queenly Majesty just in case we go against any Rillabooms because of course Amistar is four times weak to grass. With that said, if you guys are excited to see Amistar here on the channel, you know what to do. Hit the like button down below and subscribe to Sports if you haven't done so already. And with that, what better time to start Amistar Day? Oh boy, okay. It's that Kyurem team that everyone likes to play. Good news and bad news, of course, is the... Of course they have Tailwind, which is going to be a little bit annoying to deal with. Um, we do have fake out as an option uh, if they the thing is if they lead town flame it's going to be a little bit difficult to deal with the Kyurem for obvious reasons we could always use Sableye and Zacian in order to deal with those two mons I think that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to lead the Zacian bring the Calyrex and uh, bring the Amistar in the back the good news here the good news here is that they really don't have a grass Pokemon or any grass type move. So that's one less thing to worry about for Amistar. But we also have to consider base 170 special attack max quakes with life orb. <laughs> Maybe in a restricted meta, Amistar is a little bit hard to use. I'll be honest. They lead Talonflame and Indeeder. Okay. Not phenomenal. Also not awful, we can still go for the fake out onto the town flame because it's flying. Um, but that won't really mean much. Actually it will, because it'll break the gale wings, which can mean something. I think we uh fake out. Set up sub? Or do we just B-blade? Yeah, let's be blade. Let's just get rid of the Ndidi. I know setting up sub can be helpful for later down the line, but so is killing Ndidi, if we even can. We do know that they're Psychic Seed, so there is no Sash intact, but most Ndidi's go like full defense. So that'll be annoying. They do just go for follow me also. Hey, whatever. I was attacking you anyway. So at least they essentially wasted their turn here. Great damage onto the Ndidi. Can never complain about that damage. Um, followed by... I do have Trick, but I can't Trick. I can still ally switch, though, so I will try to be annoying. And then I'll switch to a Sacred Sword into the Ndidi. Just knock it out. Helping Hand! Well, they're going to be upset in about a second. <laughs> I know exactly what you're doing. Not today. Here's a switch. Hey, it's not my fault. They gave me no other option here. I have no option but to go for ally switch. Because guess what? You decided to put up psychic terrain. Flare blitz. Haha. -ha. You'll get wrecked. Yeah, Sableye eats that up. You take a little bit of chip damage. All is well in the world. I can now trick Lagging Tail onto that. Um, or I can quash it now that Ndidi's gone and can't follow me things. Um, we also have to worry about an in, about like a straight up ditto in the back. It's just a Calyrex. Um, not phenomenal news. 
Because I can't quash it and I can't trick that. This makes things a little bit more complicated. I think I'm going to have to let Sableye go down. I know my Zacian can take at least one hit here. I'm wondering if I can like B-Blade knock out Talonflame. And quash Talonflame too. I'm thinking maybe I can. I'm wondering if this is going to be enough to knock out the Talonflame. The Calyrex on the field, fine, whatever. We're just going to have to manage it. Miraculously. Through miracles. Astro Barrage, that's going to hurt and it's going to knock out my Sableye. Mm, that's a lot of damage on Tization, but still not quite enough damage to even be a 2 KO. So clearly they're not like specs or anything. Now I need this Behemoth Blade to please knock out. Not even close. Dang it. Oh, that's bad. Because now they get Tailwind up, right? No, they're just Flare Blitz. Oh, they might knock themselves out. Okay, cool. I lose my Zacian, but... They didn't get the speed control they required to, to deal with us, I don't think. And they knocked themselves out. We're down to 2v2. And I'm about to double kick my Amistar. <laughs> the late game Amistar. Sending in my Calyrex. Or do I even double kick it? Like, I'm wondering. I'm thinking I don't, to be honest. I'm thinking. I'm thinking I could still do enough damage if I just go for Astro Barrage. <laughs> Amistar, the one sleepy. That's so nice, Aquamoth. That's that. Because it's a fossil. That's amazing. That's a great little thing that you did there. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Man, screw it. We double kick. We Dynamax. We rock move the Kyurem. Now, I need a hope that... The good news is their Calyrex doesn't seem like it's damage boosted at all. Oh, well, now it's plus one. But as long as I get the double kick off, I outspeed it next turn. That's, that's 100%. So if I'm able to one-shot this Kyurem... With the stab rock move from a base 115 Amistar with plus two special attack. We have a chance. Double kick can also miss, right? Oh, this is Poke Sports. We're going to miss. <laughs> I think double kick is one of those dumb moves that is so bad and doesn't need a miss chance, but still has one. Double kick. Okay, no, double kick is 100% accurate. Thank goodness. Because there's a handful of those multi-hit moves that just miss for no reason. And Chinchino knows all of them. <laughs> all right, we got a big Amistar. We out... That's huge. Actually, it doesn't make too much of a difference because we have Focus Sash. But hey, it's nice to know that we outsped. We won a speed tie. That means Lady Luck is on our side. So here is the weakness policy boost plus... The second weak armor boost and the first weak armor boost, which does lower our defense by one and raise our, our speed by two. Let's see. Oh, now we just need damage here. Let's see some absolute destruction. Amistar, the leading Kyurem. That's what this, that's what this is for. <laughs> yes. And we just learned that we do outspeed their Calyrex next turn. That, that, this, this could not have gone better. That's going to do so much damage to our Amistar, but thankfully because of the rocks that we set up, the special defense is going to, oh. That's fine because they also get Sash broken, right? Yeah, cool. So that's fine. GG's. They can't do anything to stop me now. I am unstoppable. I can click whatever move I want. What's more damage? Rockfall. Don't have to tell me twice. Rockfall into the Calyrex. We know we outspeed. We're, no, we're plus two. There is no way. They were going They were going to try anyway. Let's see if they live on a miracle. But if I knocked out a Dynamax cure, I think I can knock out a regular Calyrex. And with that, Amistar is taking a victory.
in today's episode. Now, I'm sure that won't work every single time, but I'm glad it worked now. Oh, Cinderace, okay. Also, I see Rillaboom. Worries me, but we do have the Rillaboom uh, ignore button on this team. Um, also, this is a little, this is gonna be a little bit rough. I think I'm gonna need both Serena and Raichu in the back, which means I won't be able to bring Zacian. Which I guess is okay. It just means I'm gonna have to prepare myself for multiple situations. But it's fine. Okay, so we, we do have the Pokemon needed to deal with this, thankfully. Oh, but they have Tailwind. Oh, if they lead Tornadus and stuff, that could be an issue. Could be a big issue, actually, because I'm pretty sure a geyser from an ogre is just going to delete me. But we're going to try. We are going to give it our all. Going to give it our best shot. Right on Rilla. Okay, fine. Tolerable. Very tolerable. Now, do I just Astral and Serena swap? I think I do. I think Dynamaxing my Amastar here would still be a little bit silly. It's a little bit aggressive. But if I just Astral and swap in Serena, that's kind of a fair trade-off. And it makes me hold my Dynamax a little bit longer. They also just... Okay, that, that doesn't make a difference. I don't think, at least. Yeah, let's just Astral. Keep it nice and simple, nice and stupid. Bring in our Serena. I don't want to get grassy glided right away. So we have the condition to not get grassy glided right then and there. See if we can try to get a, a little bit of a victory here. It does look like we're going to be playing from uh, the back line. Now they do have the option of Dynamax, which is why I didn't want to stay. If this is going to, if this is the real, it's in a Pokeball. It might be the Rilla. This is why I did not want to stay on an star. They, yup, that. Yep. <laughs> well then, my friend. Yikes. Aren't you a little aggressive today? Jeez. They really want to delete my little shell. They're, they are they are Lord Helix non-believers. Unfortunately, the Precipice Blades is going to miss the Pokemon it didn't need to miss and hit the Pokemon it wanted to hit. Oh, they also just have Max Darkness. Oh, so I guess they just don't want Calyrex to exist. Oh no, this is bad. I didn't bring Zacian, and Zacian would have done honestly probably very good here. Am I Dynamaxing Serena? No, I can't. Oh boy. Hold on, we still got this. We still got this. I don't know how, but if I think if we get a nuzzle off and just control the speed a little bit better, we should be a-okay. The Serena also does like an immaculate amount of damage to this Groudon, so. Uh, I don't even think we need a fake out. I think we just go for the nuzzle here. I No matter what happens, I need to... I do have Glide, that's right. Thanks for the terrain, buddy. I need to knock out this Rillaboom. Not knock out, I need to slow down this Rillaboom. Here's the Glide. Bada bing, into the Groudon. Great damage is gonna be enough to knock out. Hold on, I didn't actually think that was gonna happen. That's a very strong Serena. Okay. Honestly, really good turn for us. Let's... Now, if they can get paired, that'd be nice too. No, nah, not today. They are gonna max strike. I mean, that's okay. Is that off a fake out? I mean, I do have Helping Hand. Part of me wants the Helping Hand boost and then go for the Hailstorm. But now, now we have now we're forced to switch an almost star. But now we have speed control though. Please don't send in something I don't like. Send in something that I want to face. I'm also wondering if I should high jump kick myself. <laughs> or is that just like unnecessarily aggro? I feel like it might be unnecessarily aggro. It would give me weakness policy, though, which could come in handy. Honestly, Cinderace might just do it for me, though. I'm going to Dynamax. Hailstorm Rilla. Let's 
swap in my Raichu, just kind of as fodder. Nothing much to it. It's literally fodder. Like, I don't want to take damage on my uh, Serena quite yet. And I don't know what uh, what my opponent wants to do here. I'm definitely I'm definitely playing with my back against the wall. Like, them Dynamaxing Rilla is, like, so hyper-aggressive, and I just wasn't... I wasn't prepared in Team Select for them to do it. I was trying to prepare myself turn one, but Team Select, uh, you know... After you lock in your four, you're kind of stuck with your, your past decisions. Regardless, let's see how much damage we can actually accomplish here. High jump kick. Please go into my Amistar. Yes! They don't know what they did! They don't know what they did! <laughs> yes! <laughs> and I have fake out following turn because of Raichu. Hold on. Can I, I... I'm pretty sure I can knock out here. I have weakness policy proc Oh, they messed up. They messed up big. Hailstorm. <laughs> Deleted. Get out of here. <laughs> and I think I'm, I'm faster than Cinderace now, right? Maybe not. Maybe maybe not, and maybe I should still fake out just in case. All right, they're down to their final two. I got a plus two Amistar on the field. We got rid of their glass, grassy gra glider. What do they have left? The, uh... It can only be Ogre, right? Which could be scarfed. How do I, how do I, how do I make something happen there? I mean, I do have Serena in the back for the ogre, theoretically. I think it's more important to knock out the Cinderace before the ogre. Oh, it's Torn. I fake out Torn. And I, I just have to hope that I'm faster. There's like nothing. If I fake out Torn, how about this? I'm gonna commit everything I have into Cinderace first. I'm gonna fake out Cinderace because if Torn Tailwind's fine, it gets Tailwind up, but Cinderace still can't attack. Torn protects. Did I just make a great decision? They double protect, and the Cinderace is slower than Torn. That's not what I expected at all. Interesting. Oh, here's a rock fall. Anyway. Gonna do half of their health bar. As a normal type. And we got some sand chips going. That's good because it breaks any sashes. It also gets me some special defense, which helps with the torn. But I'm sure they're just going to want to... Uh, probably Tailwind for now. So the next goal has to be to status everything I can. So the next opportunity I get. Oh, I'm still Dynamax. That's beautiful. Um, I'm going to keep going to the Cinderace here. I wish I can like switch out or do something else, but I just kind of can't. Why do I think if I Helping Hand boosted, I would have knocked out Cinderace? I think I'm going to double the Cinderace again. There's a Tailwind. Cinderace is definitely going to outspeed the Amistar now, unfortunately. Pyroball. Into what? Amistar? No, into Raichu? You that afraid of the rat? What can Raichu do? Here's a rock fall, dude. Bye, Cinderace. That was one of your reliable ways to deal with the uh, Serena now gone. So now I just double into this, um... Torn. Torn can only hit one of us unless it's just gonna Icy Wind us. But if it's Icy Winding us, it's not knocking out Amistar. Grassy Terrain also goes away, not that it mattered too much. Send in our Serena again. I think we got this. Why did they choose not to bring Ogre? Probably, is it just because of Serena that they were like, nah, I'm not bringing Ogre? I mean, I didn't bring Zacian. Or I brought Raichu simply because, honestly, Raichu won us, won us that game though. Oh, the game's not over, but you know. 
Unfortunately, I can't click this move because uh, that would just take two turns. And I'm not down to do that. And I can't, can't click this move because it's just going to miss. So, I guess I'm settling for Muddy. Honestly, the, it's not that big of a difference. 85 for Muddy Water versus 70. I'm just going to click Muddy Water because I think that's enough. Followed by the another inaccurate move. I could still lose this through misses. Why? Just why? You're allowing me to reconsider my options, I guess. Do I Blizzard, man? I don't even think Muddy Water is enough. I know I'm plus two. I know it's stab, but it's not super effective. If I clicked Meteor Beam there, they would have just extra lost. <laughs> They're just wasting their own tailwind at that point. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna stick to muddy water. I'm not I'm not gonna do anything crazy. It's the issue with Amistar is that after your Dynamax is up, you kinda suck again. <laughs> you're you're kinda garbage. Icy Wind is what they have. Like, you're not knocking out Amistar with that. Is that their only move? Or they just don't want to miss hurricanes? Yeah, I think this is in the bag. I have so many opportunities to hit my moves. All right, cool. We connect with the Muddy Water. Was this going to be enough to knock out, though? Oh, okay, cool. So I did make the right decision by going for the more accurate move. Awesome! Second win with Amistar? What? <laughs> okay, Holly, bring in the Azumarill. Azumarill with Landorus Incarnate also. Very interesting. There's a lot of cool things to take note of here, and that is the fact that Nothing on their team should be able to outspeed my Calyrex. Uh, they do have Trick Room options, and I think Trick Room is going to be what they want to do. But I also do think that Amistar kind of goes pretty hard here. I think an Amistar plus Calyrex ain't a bad decision, especially if they want to leave the Trick Room lead. Or just say, screw. No, no, no. Yeah, we do Calyrex still. Realization in the back for, for sure, though. And I think Serena also. Serena can protect us against fake outs, can protect us against the Azumarill a little bit by giving us the ability to at least knock it out. The good news is, for the final battle of today's video, there is no grass type. So, we have all the things needed to maybe have a good game with Amistar, and I'm happy that I got to bring it in three battles today. I do feel a little bit sad whenever I'm not able to bring something to every battle. So it's nice that it actually got to happen. Um, this is a little bit problematic because they could follow me, but I honestly don't think they have to because I have an Amistar and a Calyrex Shadow that can ignore their Calyrex Shadow. So why would they follow me, right? The problem is if they do follow me. They're not going to follow me, right? Part of me want, okay, just in case they do follow me, I could still knock out the Calyrex this turn. By Astral Barraging. I think I Rock Ball. And I go for it. They're not going to click follow me. Why would you get click follow me in front of Calyrex eyes? I mean Calyrex shadow. You know I'm going to go for this bread move. Now I'm going to be a little bit sad if they do click follow me, man. <laughs> Unless they know what, what I'm doing, right? Like I said, the, the safer play would have been to Astral and then to... I guess just Rockfall. But then I'm going to take big damage here. Don't follow me. Are you kidding me? Come on. That kind of sucks, not gonna lie. They do Astral. I can thankfully take another one. They won the speed tie here also, because I am max speed. That's so sad that they actually got to follow me off. Oh no, I'm gonna kill myself to the rock fall, dang it. Okay, off to a bad start. <laughs> Let's see if we can win even though we're at a bad start. There is good news here. The good news is that Calyrex died not through their Calyrex. And also, we should definitely be able to take another Astro Barrage thanks to the sand. Um, think of positives. Think of, think of positives. Think of positives. What else? What else? What else? That's that's honestly it. That's the only good things that happened so far. 
Uh, I think Serena. Let them go for Yashu again. We're going to U-turn on the Ndidi. And then just go for the Calyrex Kale. Um, we can. I think just another Rock Fall there is, is pretty optimal. Followed by a U-turn here into the Ndidi. The U-turn should knock out the Ndidi. And then we should be able to get the uh, Calyrex with the Rock Fall. Even with Weakness Policy not proc. There's a second Astro Barrage. Thankfully, no... That was a crit on Serena. Okay. That's not fun. Jeez, we're hanging on, though. <laughs> we are really hanging on. The thing is, once we get rid of this Calyrex, if we even can, our Zacian should be able to outspeed everything and win. Hopefully. All right, in comes our friend Zacian. Issue is, they probably have Incin in the back. I mean, why wouldn't they? Incineroar is the best book one of the game. So our attack is going to be a little bit affected by that. Oh, wait, do they even have Incineroar on this team? I know they have Azumarill and Landorus, but I don't remember Incineroar. I guess I'll check in a second. Thankfully, that's still enough to knock out Calyrex. That's fair. Crit for crit. Totally fair. Never seen anything more fair in my life. Love that. Love that a lot. Okay, so even after our very bad misplay turn one, we somehow have the Pokemon advantage. They are just going to bring the Ensign and the Dialga. That's okay. That's fine. That's maybe okay. That's maybe fine. Dialga is a little bit sus. Because my Amistar is like very low HP. Uh, the Intimidate is going to suck a little bit. I think we... I think we hard swap Serena. And then go we go for the sub here. I'm going to I'm gonna cancel my Almost Star real quick. I'll use it as fodder for later. See if this works out. I feel like they just want to fake out here. They might. Oh, they can't because Psychic Terrain. So, yeah. Oh, no. What else could I have done, though? Not screw up my turn one is what I could have done. <laughs> anyway, they're going to die to Max Dialga. This is going to hurt no matter who it goes into. And if they raise their own defenses, I guess that's going to get ignored because Sacred Sword. But, hey. I was hoping they would just take that turn to Trick Room, if anything. But I guess they don't have to Trick Room in this situation. All right, Zacian. Let's see uh, what they went for. Max Steel Spike into something. Into my Serena. Serena will go down here. They didn't fake out, unfortunately, because one, they can't. And two, they double can't because of Serena. So what did they do? Just Flare Blitz? Just Flare Blitz, yeah. So what do I do? I got to crit a Sacred Sword, I guess. <laughs> Um, if they're going for Steel Spikes, I guess I should be going for this Ensign. Because what do I have to lose? Let's make an attempt at a freeze. And then let's just Sacred Sword the Ensign spot. Hey, we could win through freeze, I guess. All right, Sacred. Good damage, but not enough to knock out, unfortunately. And they have Citrus, okay. There's the Wormwind. That's definitely on to the Almastar. <laughs> Goodbye, Almastar. We're now negative one Zacian. Yeah, there's no way. Like I said, we have to crit something this game. We'd have to crit it like three times. But anyway, we're going to die to this Flare Blitz. Because for some reason, Ensign decides to have a lot of attack. Oh, well then. Guess we're not dying to Flare Blitz. Issue is, I can't knock out both of them. So I might as well try to have a little bit of fun and see if I can <laughs> crit Dialga. I don't know. Even a crit won't be enough to knock out the, the Dialga at that health. Yeah. I'll see if they had weakness policy here. No, they don't. 
GG's. I'm gonna start can't carry us in all of them. Now, granted, I honestly just didn't think they were gonna follow me turn one. I didn't. And could I have won if maybe I just went for the Astro Brush turn one? I mean, I lost the speed tie anyway, but I would have knocked out their Calyrex and my Calyrex at the same time. Unfortunately, I do think their Calyrex did do a lot of damage to my side of the field because I remember having three Pokemon in the red uh, thanks to their Calyrex. So, yeah, I think if I had to replay that game, just switch whatever I did turn one. Anyway, let's get you guys that rental code. And here you have the rental code for the Amastar team. If you guys enjoy this video, do go ahead and hit the, hit the like button down below and subscribe Pokesports. Because I love playing weird teams that, you know, you guys just don't see in Series 12 every single day. And if you guys do run this team on the ladder, make sure to say thank you to Aquamoth on Discord. If you enjoy the team, of course. Uh, thank you, Aquamoth, for making it public and giving me the opportunity to upload it here on the channel. I greatly appreciate you. If you guys want to upload your own teams and have me maybe play them, I don't promise that I'll play every single team on the Rental Codes Discord chat. Because there's honestly a lot of Rental Codes there. So, <laughs> I can't promise I'll play all of them. If it's weird and interesting and quirky, I might have a, a second glance at it. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'm Kevin Spokesports. Have a great night. Peace out. Bye-bye.